My name is Meng Yujie, uh, you can call me Sunny, and I come from China, uh, and uh, I joined the, the uh, volunteer club um, this semester, and every Wednesday we come to this art academy to teach the children here English. The children's their age range from 10 to 13. Uh, this semester we focus on teaching them uh, English grammar, like different tenses. We usually teach on the second floor, so let's go upstairs. This is the classroom where uh, we usually teach. Um, you can see like the children, there are about 20 of them. And uh, we usually divide them into um, about three to four groups. So each group, there's like four to five students. Hello. Hello. Our topic in this class is about uh, future tense. So we uh, talk them about will do and be going to do. Uh, this is actually a kind of a hard topic for the children because it's about grammar and they usually do, do not like grammar. The children, they're easy to get tired or bored by this kind of topic. I try to use some games, some fun games to uh, make them interested. They're really young and I didn't expect them to have this level of English because I still think that most of them have a really good English for their age. So I really like the fact that I can really interact with them and they even interested in me because I'm a foreigner too. So that's why we can uh, talk a lot even if sometimes they talk to me in Korean. I also love the fact that I'm doing this in an associative way. It means that we're not getting paid for it, but it means that we're giving our free times and the children are aware of it. So that's why they're really thankful of us and I'm also thankful of them. Sometimes I really feel stressful. They make a question, why we need to learn this? When we can use this? Because they think that grammar is useless things. But when I persuade and make them understand, I really like that. And I think that it's also the first approach of having this kind of English class with foreigner students who don't speak the language too. So I think it's also very rare. I think the most challenging part is uh, to make them focus on what they're learning. When they're playing the game, they were really happy and they were really active, really motivated to learn. In order to mm, make it more diversified, we uh, divided the groups in like, mix the boys and girls, but the boys and girls sometimes fight. So it's a pretty challenging to um, make them focus on what they're learning instead of like, you know, just teasing each other, like mocking each other, or like, like the, the girls mocking boys. What I like by volunteering, especially in Korea, is the fact that like I can give my time and I can do things that are unusual for me. If I'm studying in Southbridge, it's mostly in international schools, so we're speaking in English, but uh, it's also a good way to improve my Korean, to be talking to Korean children. <laughs> So our teaching session today uh, finished and I'm going to go home. Bye guys!